I particularly like to use the report view for Perfmon when I'm looking at counters from multiple databases. I'll show you what I mean. First up, I'm gonna fire up Performance Monitor. And I've got a few general counters here that are all at my instance level, either my Windows instance, just got a little test VM here, or my whole SQL Server instance level. I'm gonna add a counter though that looks at the database level. Let's say that I was troubleshooting some weights on my transaction log and I wanted to know which of my databases have the most active transaction log. I'm gonna go down to my SQL Server databases group of counters here. We've got lots and lots of different counters. Here's databases. And I'm gonna scroll through here and I am going to highlight the log bytes flushed per second counter. And I'm gonna say, I wanna see this for all instances of the counter. In this case, not the total, but it's gonna add every single database uh, and their counter to this list. So I say, okay. And sure enough, here I have all of these different counters and I can, while I'm in graph view or line view, I can click on each of them and I've even got the highlighting on. So I can see what each of these is, but see how a lot of them are just zero? It's sort of hard to know, you know, I've got this long list here. It's hard to know what to look at. Well, up here, I've got a little drop down where I can change the graph type. Right now I am on the line type. I'm gonna go to the report view. And this normally has, you know, white background with black letters. I like a dark background and I've set this to blue because I like how the blue looks in different views. You can totally customize this. But what report view does for me is just show me at this moment, what are the counter values? And for the databases, I can now scroll to the right. Here's log bytes flushed per sec. And I can at the bottom here, scroll to the right and see what the values are for different databases. If I wanna clear out some, let's say I don't care about my system databases right now. I just highlighted master, I hit the delete key and it goes away. So I can easily say, oh, these, these individual pieces aren't interesting to me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the counters for them. That can help make it easier to view the places where I am interested in the data. Right now, I don't have any log flushes going on, but I can watch for a while. There we go. We just had a burst in wide world importers where we have some log flushes because my activity is cycling through different phases. And I can see, oh yeah, okay, we have these bursts going on in that database where it'll be active for a while and then it will drop down. But I find this report view to be convenient not to use 100% of the time, but to periodically flip back and forth to when I wanna see, okay, I wanna see just samples of the counters for this moment. It's always very easy to go back to the top left and switch back to the line view when you want to see counters in that default graph view.